it weren't for incompetence, I wouldn't have a job. You may remember this grasshopper in my uh, battery terminal video I did a couple weeks ago, but uh, he ain't lying. We've got some wire meltage going on right here. I don't, well, I know why, because they sit there and grind on it to try to start it, and run, 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 and it just, they run the battery down, and I'm pretty sure that wire is glowing red hot when they're supposed to take this key and turn it backwards to heat the glow plugs up. But now, they run the battery down. So I'm gonna get my jumper cables, we'll hook them up, and uh, hopefully try to charge this battery up a little bit to get it cranked so I can at least get it out of here and uh, get it out in the sunlight so we can work on it. I got my battery cables hooked up. Let's see if we can uh, spin this thing over fast enough to start it. Not quite. Turn the key backwards. And just hold it there for about 30 seconds. Especially when it's cold outside. It's it's almost freezing. It's about 37 degrees out today. In the shade, it may be a little cooler. But this, if it starts, it's still not fixed because I have to go fix some wires over there. I'm going to show you how to make a battery cable. Uh huh. Try it again. battery from it. I'm going to just set it over here and let it charge while I get this table ready. Uh, this wasn't like this the last time I was out here, so it's a good thing the battery ran down or we would have had a problem. But also, a low battery will actually draw more amps than a hot battery. It's just the laws of physics. So just go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and replace the little wire since it's melted to the big wire. I'm going to probably snip it off right here and uh, just have to butt splice me a new hot signal wire there. And I'm going to replace the whole, this whole cable right here. I went ahead and snipped this wire off as close to the burn spot as I could. But it looks like I'm not going to have to splice it because I believe I can pull it through the harness right here. There we go. Pull it on the outside of that rubber plug there. And I should have plenty of room now, yes, to uh, hook that up. All I gotta do is put me a new ring terminal on that and we're good to go. I'm in the process of making me a new cable. I've just got a 50 foot roll of uh, battery cable. It's just easier to make your own. And uh, so basically I'm just gonna just kind of map out the old one and I'm gonna cut it, you know, an inch or two longer than it needs to be. Once you get your cable cut to length, go ahead and slide your piece of heat shrink over it. And I'm gonna show you how to install the battery terminal or the cable lug. Go ahead and strip the wire off half inch of the insulation off to go into the lug here and I'll show you how these work. These are actually compression uh, battery cable lugs and this is the only way to go for repairs out in the field. You don't have to solder anything, you don't have to crimp anything, it just yeah. takes wrenches. Snipped off or your insulation sucked back you just want to take your furl and you want to push it and twist it as you push get 
this nice and twisted. And as you push this up here, it's going to get buried down into that furrow. When you get the furrow pushed up there, you want to be able to see the end of the wire just barely at the end there. So when you tighten up your battery cable lug, everything's going to get tightened down. So get you a wrench. Just hold the terminal with a pair of pliers and turn this compression union in until it bottoms out. right there. So the next thing you do, you just want to slide your heat shrink and we're just going to touch it with the torch and get it sucked down on there. This just makes for a good watertight connection. I don't want to get it too hot so it will burn it off. Go ahead and touch off my other side here that I did already. Get it going good. Looks good. Okay. So, we've got us a battery cable made that is probably 100% better than you could go buy one for. Go ahead and crimp on you a new ring terminal right here. Go ahead and install the battery cable you just made and tighten it onto the solenoid of the starter. Get it torqued down. Go ahead and tighten your positive cable first. That'll do it right there. Get the negative tight. That's good. Slide on your boot. Let's see how she does. Glow plugs are getting warm again. how to make battery cables, let me know. Lower Medic 1. Y'all have a good day.